Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to fix undergarments in Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com. They are family owned and operated since 1951. That makes them vintage, which is very in. So you will definitely want to check them out. My friend Dakima recently sent me this image and she was concerned about the slip under the client's dress, that harsh line. So what we're going to do is remove that inside of Lightroom using the spot removal tool. Now let's take a quick look at the before and after. Now I used Susie's favorite preset, but I only had the JPEG to work on, but it still made a pretty nice difference. So I'm going to zoom in and press Q on the keyboard in order to access the spot removal tool. Now, whether or not you use clone or heal really depends on the situation. Clone means that you will copy and paste pixels. Healing means you will copy, paste, and blend. So typically for things of this nature, I'm going to use the healing technique. And what I'm going to do is just brush over this area with this rather large brush and Lightroom selected a pretty good source down here. So I'm just going to make sure that that lines up appropriately. And if we take a look at this adjustment off and then on, I think what we could do is maybe increase that opacity quite a bit. And if I zoom back out and look at that adjustment, there it is off and there it is on. I think that looks fantastic. And in fact, because I could do this in Lightroom, I typically would because it's always going to be faster. But I'm going to jump into Photoshop quickly just to show you how I would accomplish the same result in that program. The first thing I would do is press Command or Control J on the keyboard in order to duplicate the background layer. Now there are probably at least 10 different ways to accomplish the result we're looking for, but I am always trying to find the fastest, most efficient method that works the best. So yes, you could use any number of the healing tools to accomplish this, but I want to show you a different technique. I'm going to select my foreground color and then place my cursor in the darker portion of the skirt. So not the lighter portion. I'm going below the slip here and I'm clicking in order to select that color. Next, I'm going to press B on my keyboard in order to access my brush tool. Now the key here is making sure that your mode is normal and your opacity is down somewhere between 20 and 30%. Let's zoom in with the command or control plus on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to start brushing over the line between the slip and the dress. And I'm kind of brushing in an irregular pattern so I can blend this together rather nicely. And so you'll notice what's happening is that by adding these brush strokes, you are softening the line between the slip and the skirt. So if we zoom out with a command or control minus and look at the before and after, that made a huge difference. If you feel like it's too much, you could reduce the opacity of that layer just so you could see it a little bit more. But as I look at this image, understanding that I worked on the other side using Lightroom. I actually think Lightroom did a better job with the spot removal tool. Therefore, I would strongly encourage you to try your method in Lightroom first because it's going to be faster. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.